without having the right policies, the right education policies, the right national policies, uh, which will mobilize also all the resources, uh, human resources, financial resources inside the country. Also having a good uh, use of the international aid that, that is coming. We can't have a, a really an important breakthrough in education. It's very important that these systems adapt to a very competitive world nowadays. We're just beginning to develop a very strong partnership with the Papua traffic community. And uh, I think because it's uh, in health system, it was uh, kind of a more appealing, uh, even more emotional, which is natural. And there, the uh, private sector could make a big difference uh, only with one action. It was for a long time perceived that uh, education is more complex. I believe that setting a long-term health system sustainable it's not less difficult than sustaining a long-term education system. But I believe that the philanthropic community starts to understand also that what can bring sustainability to all the Millennium Development Goals, any of them, it's education. Our estimates are that 1.9 million teachers are missing, uh, lacking uh, in order to reach education for all. And I believe there uh, the private sector has an incredibly big role to play. Once again through using the ICTs, uh, through all different kinds of uh, uh, connectivity and also through elaborating a very concrete uh, uh, programs. For example, uh, we are partnering with Microsoft and Cisco and Intel for the um, creating of uh, a specific tool. It's a, a capacity uh, uh, a framework for teachers uh, uh, in, in the developing world. So we are almost at the end of launching this uh, huge project. Um, it will give uh, uh, a very concrete tool of uh, having uh, uh, better quality teachers also well equipped with the latest uh, knowledge uh, uh, about uh, what is happening in the world.